It's time to go behind the people show. This isn't part of my program. I'm a doctor, not a doorstop. Only on 95X.com. Her Rocks, it's on 95X. Saving Able, bringing down the giant right now. Join me in the studios tonight. It is on Sammy Callahan against my man, John Morrison. What is up, brother? What is up with the shaman is sexy? That's the question everybody in Syracuse <laughs> wants to know. Hey, I, I didn't talk to you about the, uh, the John Morrison introduction. Oh, is there an introduction? You could have, you know, someone else knows your nicknames and says it for you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm very bad at those I things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Mr. John Morrison in the studio. How's it going, dude? Good, dude, man. Um, it's, it's nice to, like, uh, be in charge of my own destiny for a little while. That WWE Express train yeah, pretty much monopolizes all your time. You know, you hop on that thing, and it's awesome. You're doing shows around the world nonstop. Over 200 shows a year, but you don't have time to really pursue any of your own projects right. or have many creative thoughts of your own. <laughs> yeah, is, is <laughs> or have there... any free time or a social life outside of the WWE. So um, being able to you know, enjoy my family and friends, go, go surfing more, and um, work on some acting stuff, some stunt fighting, things that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I didn't have time previously, has been really cool. So being on the West Coast, I mean, does that open a lot more avenues for you? You know what I mean? As far as the stuff that you actually want to do? Um, are you asking me if uh, the West Coast is better than Syracuse? Well, no, it's not. No, it is. <laughs> I'm, no, sure, no, you just, I'm sure it is. You just admit it. <laughs> I already no, did, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's not. They're, they're just different places. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to try to get into you know, to acting and stuff like that, yeah, there's more opportunities in Los Angeles, which is where I happen to live. So that's uh, fortunate. Yeah, very nice. So t- tonight, Sammy Callahan and you, sir, and you, you post a video. I like the video. That was pretty cool, by the way. And then, and Sammy been going back and forth on Twitter. And you kind of, you don't even, you don't say, hey, dude, you suck. I'm going to beat you. You kind of go a different way about things. I kind of like it. Well, I don't, I don't know the guy. Right. And I, I, you know, I actually, I, I've actually heard that he doesn't suck. <laughs> kind of like that new uh, Domino's <laughs> pizza. It doesn't, slogan. it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't suck. We no longer suck. <laughs> uh, but I've heard that Sammy Callahan does not suck. And um, I'm looking forward to wrestling. I'm, I've heard a lot of good things about 2CW. So uh, tonight, the Pastime Athletic Club, I'm going to see if all the rumors are true or false. I heard it's a really cool, uh, rowdy vibe. Um, right. Tickets are sold out or yeah, almost sold out? Almost. There's, almost. So there's not. There's, there's like there's almost three out. left. Is that what you said? That's about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three nice. oddball tickets, which you could still come to the show tonight. It'll be it'll be good time. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, so, um, yeah, dude. So uh, looking forward to meeting Sam. You've never met him. Um, I don't know much about him. What, what do you? What can you tell me about Sammy Callahan? I have nothing. Does he still call himself the the new horror? Is that his, I, his deal? <laughs> I don't know, man. This, like I'm gonna be honest with you. This is my first two CW event too. Okay. So it, it'll be cool. Actually, uh, the last one at the Pastime Athletic Club. It'll be my first one. We'll go out and have a good time tonight. There's no doubt about that. So it'll be sounds fun. good to me. It will be. Um, yeah, I was, I was gonna bring up the new horror thing, like uh. It'll be interesting to see how invested he is in this uh, this new horror thing. I don't know. I mean, if he's like thinking he's like a dude out of a horror movie, that right. might be a little bit weird. Yeah, well, a little bit. Or maybe he has a lot of chicks that, that, that dig him. I don't know. Whichever well, way he wants to go. Let's be realistic about this. <laughs> <laughs> he's no John Morrison. I mean, at the end of the day. See how much cooler it is when you say it? Uh, you're and right. Hey, right. Well, Thank that's you. true. Yeah, it, it, and it, then I get to be humble. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, in the ring, as far as doing that kind of stuff, what what kind of what what more options do you have now that you're doing the independent stuff besides being on E and, and being hey you got three minutes five minutes to do a match on TV and stuff like that? First of all, uh, the E is new to me. Um, I, I know that's what you guys call it WWE now, but right. I, I, like last night I was I was out with uh, with Josh and um, and Kevin the Man Graham, and they kept calling it the E, and I kept thinking like are you guys talking about like that. <laughs> That entertainment channel on yeah. TV or what, or like drugs or what, right. what, what are you talking about? But, um, yeah, so now outside of the E, um, <laughs> basically like the best thing that I, I get, what I wanted when I was there is autonomy, autonomy to have my own ideas, have like a format, a platform to do what I want to do and mm-hmm. see that come to fruition, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, like basically having that blank canvas, being able to do whatever I want is What's going to happen tonight? It makes it a lot more fun, I'm sure, for you at the end of the day. 100%. Yeah. yeah. That's good, man. I like it. So you, you are not, uh, we were just talking about social media and how uh, us here at the radio station, that, that's, we're kind of social media whores. Okay. There's no doubt about it. But uh, I was even saying to you, I'm like, dude, you didn't tweet today? 
I mean, it's pretty pathetic that I'm looking at that. That was that was the first thing you said. Was, 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 was it a little a little weird? Did I creep you out doing that, man? Uh, a little bit. All right, I'm sorry. A little. I, I didn't I, mean I, like, to creep you out, out, but you know. Um, sorry, I didn't for, didn't tweet today. <laughs> it's your um, problem. You didn't tweet. You're supposed to. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I told uh, you what I did. I went. Oh, you know, I woke up and I went to the gym. Right. Just, you know, nothing, nothing crazy yet. Yeah. But um, I I do like a I have a Twitter at the real Morrison is my Twitter account. Um, sometimes when I tweet, it's hilarious. Sometimes it's boring. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, I've been trying to force myself to tweet more because that's kind of you know social media is uh, is a powerful. A powerful Very. thing, especially now, it's getting more and more powerful. So, um, follow me at the real Morrison, and I will tweet something either tonight or tomorrow. I promise. <laughs> Does that make you feel bad? I hope not. No, not All right, really. Good. All right, that's good. no, not really. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a lot of uh, a lot of things going on, including a, a YouTube video you just did. Tell oh, us about yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier. So, um, me and a buddy of mine, Nathan Barnett. Um, made a YouTube video about barbarians. Okay. And it's called Glory Quest hyphen burritos. So um, if you're interested in a, a barbarian themed YouTube video starring myself at The Real Morrison and uh, Nathan <laughs> Barnett, who plays a lot of really funny characters on YouTube, Keith Apicary, um, Trail Luaus, um, who's, who's an up, up and comer in the world of comedy, um, just search for Glory Quest burritos. Or yeah, well, that's probably your best bet. We'll get it up you'll, on. You'll uh, see it. We'll get it up on our main page. There's no doubt about that. I'll find okay. it. And I'll find it and get it up for everybody. We're hoping to make a. We're hoping to make a couple more of these things. I had a really good time doing it. And um, YouTube's another one of those things where you can get that uh, that autonomy. Right. You have an idea. You want to get your idea done. Boom. You make a YouTube video. Then it's out there. We do. We do that a lot. We we shoot like I, I may shoot some video tonight while we're out at the show. I'll definitely take pictures and post them. Where, I mean, it just it makes everything so instant, and it, it's kind of cool. I, I did do a video. Uh, we I went to go see Slipknot the other night. Uh, it was very loud, and you can't hear a damn thing. But I did the video anyway. But you know, what are you going to do? Right. No one's going to judge the uh, the yeah, audio the quality. quality yeah. it's, it's the Slipknot video. <laughs> right? What's your problem? What do you, what's the problem here? I'm like nobody listens to Slipknot for sound, right? No, no it's loud and it's abusive, and it was very nice. Come on, <laughs> I'm getting some digs in on Slipknot. It's, I know you yeah, are. I know it's not <laughs> even right, but it's all good. No, it was it was good. It was good. What, what other kind of stuff are you into, man, besides obviously you have a lot of things going outside the wrestling world and all that? Okay, so um, aside from, uh, from acting stuff and doing that, um, I've been working on this workout product that's been like the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's really hard to do your own project. You don't realize, like, uh, say you're with WWE, mm -hmm. like that John Morrison Rockstar DVD, like I didn't do that much. I had a couple ideas, um, the parkour stuff, like some surfing footage, and um, they have all the footage. They have the team in place. Everybody works together. And then, like, two weeks later, John Morrison Rockstar DVD is finished. Right. But for, uh, for this workout DVD, I've been working on Out of Your Mind Fitness, www.ooymfitness.com. It's uh, been something that I've had to, like, produce, write. Like, wrote, like uh, wrote a short book about fitness with the guy I'm doing it with. His name is Jeff Carrier. He's a, a workout guru, genius-type dude. Right. Um, and... A training log, and then we filmed like six DVDs, and we're working on a phone app, all to come together in one package. So uh, it's it's a really <laughs> interesting and difficult process dealing with uh, some phone app company in India <laughs> and negotiating a. It, it, you don't realize how time consuming stuff right. like that is, but it's going to be awesome when it comes out. Yeah, at the end of the day, though, I mean, when you put that whole package together, you're like, I did it from front to back. You know, everything is mine. It's got to make it a lot more, you know, you know, fun to do it that way too. Yeah, it's definitely, you can take a lot more ownership in it, like you said, and it, it's going to be really cool to see, uh, you know, it's going to be really cool to see how it's, uh, it's going to be really cool to see how it comes together, what it looks like, and what people do with it when, it, when they get it. And you, you're very big, and you mentioned the parkour, you're really big into this, right? Yeah, yeah, parkour is awesome. Now, someone um, my size, not so much. Well, you know, that might be an interesting YouTube video. It, it, like, like you said, like if, if you want to go do some parkour, I'll film it. Oh, It'll that's not up. happening. <laughs> that's not happening. I, I don't jump. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. My knees aren't handling that anymore, brother. You can roll, maybe. I could, I could roll. You're absolutely parkour right. Parkour involves rolls. All right, I could get. roll. That could be fun. That could be fun. Rolls. And... How, did you, how did you end up coming about that, like doing that kind of stuff? Oh, parkour, man. Like I was always uh, growing up a huge fan of Jackie Chan. And um, before parkour... The term parkour was coined by David Bell um, maybe five, ten, ten years ago. Jackie Chan has been doing parkour in his movies for, you know, the last 25 yeah, right. years. So a lot of the stuff that he was doing, like the 
chase scenes mm-hmm. and like integrating kung fu into using objects was parkour. It just wasn't actually termed parkour, and I was a huge fan of his. And I'm um, actually at one point wanted to be a stunt guy and started like trying to like mimic stuff that I saw Jackie Chan do in movies. And um, then when like parkour, the phenomenon hit, I was like, oh man, that's that's awesome. Right. That's like the same stuff I wanted to do when I was a kid, and I've been like practicing it like off and on. But now it's like a, a thing, and there's like all the moves are named, and like it's anyway. So that's how I got interested in it. That's cool. I, I like. I kind of I mean, I just to see somebody actually do some of that stuff is awesome. For me, no. <laughs> like I said, I'll roll. There you we'll go. Roll. Yeah. Just roll. <laughs> well, okay, parkour is not for everybody. It, it isn't right. Oh, if you want to see some. Uh, some parkour moves that I've done recently, you can check out my YouTube channel. There you go. <laughs> the Palace of Wisdom, or just y- <laughs> type in Jomo Parko in YouTube, and uh, my most recent parkour video will come up. Cool. And um, I hear that you're going to put that on the webpage as well. I am. I'm going to throw it up. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it all up, brother. I'll get it all on Facebook and uh, and Twitter. Nice. I got, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of time. Awesome. I got a lot of time. So, dude, man, thanks for coming by today, dude. I appreciate it. Tonight's going to be a great night. Uh, 2CW, of course, pastime uh, athletic club. The final one. You're, you're wrapping it up, brother. Tonight's going to be what's, the last. What's, what's the last? What am I wrapping up? It's it's the last show that they're doing at that uh, at that venue. Oh, yeah. You know, um, I, I feel good about this. I mean, a lot of people have been saying the day I left the WWE was the day b- the business died. And um, I guess tonight when I leave the pastime athletic club. There you Stay, go. You, the, you, the athletic club you, closed. You leave. Uh, you leave a powerful, a powerful thing in your wake, brother. Absolutely sweet. Thanks, man, for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. See you tonight, man. If you have to stop out, there's only like three tickets left. If you do have tickets, it's going to be a party, guaranteed tonight. Behind the people.